Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our last day of our five days of Christmas. Today I have a super cute treat box for you. So today basically my team and I all just did, it was just like free for all, whatever we wanted to create. But I wanted to use these little, I am obsessed with these bows, our little fun size. I'm using the fun size holiday bow. I love them so much and I wanted to pair them up with our brand new jar treat die. Um, this was our Black Friday special release. Um, and then I'm using the Frap gift card holder, but I'm not using anything. I'm only using the heart, okay? So I already put this together. Okay, so I'm not sure if I told you all um, earlier this week and then you all, if you got the newsletter, I said that all of the orders were going to be going out this Friday um, between the 5th and the 6th um, because we, my mom and I are, are leaving. My mom's already left. I'm going to go meet her. So I'm trying to like hurry up and get everything done. So you'll be watching this on Friday. Um, and so I did two videos. I already did the video for the um, our giveaway. So this way you can see everything um, that my there are five of my favorite things for 2019. There's five items, so there'll be five winners. So you can see that on another. You'll see that video on my blog right below this one. Um, so I didn't have time to actually do a full video for you to put this together. So I'm just gonna kind of walk you through. On my blog, I will have a link. Um, showing how to put our this brand new adorable jar treat jar is a really big die um, I'm gonna uh, have I'll have a link to the video showing you how to assemble it okay so I basically use out of this all I use was this part here because this part you'll have to uh, cut out twice to get to make the box I use this and this those are the only two things I use from that oh and of course the layer part this part right here okay um, but I had to incorporate those adorable little holiday bows so how super duper cute is that okay so let me explain to you what I did here what I did was I took this the bottom layer okay that big die I went ahead and I ran it through the machine and after I ran it through the machine I actually took the heart from our frap card holder so let me take this out so I could better give you a try and give you a, a visual here okay so what I did I ran this through um, my die cutting machine so I just had a plain piece of paper so what I did is I went ahead and I got the heart die and I put it onto that card, that cutout cardstock, just like so. I ran it through again, so there could be an actual hole in this, okay? And then what I did was I went ahead and I put this on some pattern paper cardstock, ran it through, and after I had the pattern paper cardstock that was cut out, again I went ahead and I put this right there, okay? And then I ran it through the machine again. So I had a heart shape hole here and here which made it easier for me to layer so before I layered everything together I flipped this in the back and I put a piece of clear acetate on the inside part of the box um, so this way all I had so I had the clear acetate there and then all I had to do is get this piece line up the heart so it could line up perfectly and then you have that clear acetate and that's how I was able to get the window. One of my design team members did that did that for um, the actual blog hop for the Black Friday release sale. I And I was totally inspired by that so I wanted to kind of do a, a different version of that. So that's what I did here. So that's how I was able to get that cutie patootie little heart cut out there. Um, and then what I did was I put that little piece on which is this one here. I actually put it on the back as well as the front because and and also instead of using this right here which I have the old one right here too let me see it okay instead of use this is the other one I had made with it instead of using these I wanted to switch it up okay so that's how that one looks and I also had the other one that I had created with the little silver um, little handles so I figured you know what let's switch it up what I did was okay you see I'm gonna show you better on this you see how there's two holes there's one there and one there and that's where these little handles kind of you feed through those little holes so what I did was I went ahead and got some twine and I fed it through the front hole and the back hole and I tied a little bow now 
definitely make sure you're using a heavy cardstock. I'm using Paper Tray Ink heavy cardstock here, so that's why they did it rip. Because I have a feeling if you do it with a light pattern paper, like a white lightweight, um, if you try and tie it, the little circles, those little notches, I should call it, will rip. Okay, so just try not to manhandle it. Kind of do it gentle. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because then I, I figure I wanted to switch it up and show you a different way how this could look, okay? And I am just so in love with these bows. I cannot help myself, so I had to use them again. So that is it. And I, I decided not to put a sentiment on here this time. I figure, you know, I'm just going to keep it simple. And these will be something cute when you have guests because you always have those unexpected guests come in and why not give them something super cute a, a little treat okay um and you could kind of you know do some and i think this could go for a boy or a girl because of the colors okay so that is it everyone um thank you so very much for tuning in and also don't forget to um Leave your comments on all of our blogs for a chance to win the prizes that we have. And I will announce, again, I will announce those winners next Wednesday on my blog. So again, thank you so much for all of your comments this entire week. I love reading them all. Um, and have a fabulous, safe weekend. And I will see you all back here next week. Bye-bye.